Well, great news everyone, my gold star, GHV51M, works! I finally fixed it, all I needed to do was program a universal remote, then it turned on, and then I, had to, and then I decided to try the buttons and now they're working. It's amazing. Can't believe I fixed it. Alright, so now it's time to review this VCR. And yes, I am going to make a comparison after I'm done reviewing this VCR, but it's going to be all in one video. Like when I'm done, I'm going to, when I'm done like showing the video quality and all that, I'm going to, then I'll switch over to the GE VCR, let me zoom in for you. Right there, the GE. Because this VCR is almost basically the same as the mid 80s Panasonic machines I mean they sound and look a whole lo a whole lot almost the same and um so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a question I'm gonna ask you guys a question at the the video. So, um, what, what I also did, I checked the belts down there, and, um, a few of them were just wobbling, and I saw the loading motor belt, and it was wobbling, and I, but it was, like, too wobbly, and it looks like it might slip, so I'm going, to, so I decided to replace it with a rubber band, because I don't have a smaller belt. I also replaced the capstan belt, too, with a belt from my other VCRs and it fits fine. Also, I replaced the idler tire. Some actually these gold star machines or gold star um chassis use an idler gear. Some models use an idler gear, but this but the majority I think they use idler tires. And this this is one of them that used the idler tires. So I replaced that with a rubber o ring and it works just perfect. The Isla Tire, that is. But, that doesn't mean this VCR fully works. There is a problem with the uh, rewinding and reverse search and fast forward. I mean, there's a problem with fast forward and reverse search, and I'll get to that later. So, here is um, the loading motor. And it drives a worm gear, a gear right there, then a gear for the cassette carriage. There's also a gear here too, which you can visibly when you you'll see the you'll see it fully when I push the tape in. So um, and look at the pin troll. I mean, there's like white spots in the pin troller. But I tested it, it didn't affect any of my tapes, and I don't think there's something to worry about. I'll maybe try and see if I can clean it though. Cap stands okay. And um, this is a two head model machine. One head. Come on, let me try again. One, two. Two heads. So yeah, it's a two-head machine. And I'm not I think, I don't know if they made hi-fi stereo versions of this mechanism. But, that's going to be part of the question at the end of the video. So, um, now, since I showed you everything, let me show you the front first. Oh, I totally forgot to show you the front. The plate came off, but I can show you the back that it's a gold star. V a direct it says direct drive on the front um of the uh machine. 
Here's the old fashioned um, tuna and um, display. Display is still pretty good. Now we're going, and now let me get, let me see if I can show you the back of the unit. Oh, totally forgot to uh, screw in one more screw so this can be held down. I'll just, uh, all, there's a, there's a screw. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on camera for you. I'm just gonna do it on camera to, so I can show you how I get the screws out. I use an electric screwdriver most of the time. I only use a uh, regular screwdriver if the screws if screws are in very tightly and you can't and I can't get it out. But the power of the electric of this screwdriver works fine if you have good muscle. All right, now I now I'm gonna turn it for you. So it says it right here. I'll show you proof. This is that. Yeah, it's a Gold Star GHV 51 FM, and it was made in February 1986. So this VCR is 31 years old. So yeah, turn the VCR. Over. Okay. Now, let's insert a tape. Oh. And also, it came with a tape as well. Some Something called Tyson vs. Holyfield, June 28th of 1997. I'm guessing it's some sort of boxing match because Tyson, Mike Tyson, which I don't, I don't, I know who he is, but I don't watch boxing, so... And I'm gonna record over this, so I'm gonna make my tape make this my own now after this so let's put her in you just ah, move the light out of the way and it won't play automatically I have to press play first Did you hear that? It sounded similar to the mid mid eighties Panasonic VCRs. Go check out Spatsbear's video. He um has he has a uh, Sears Gold Star VCR that um that uh, that has the same exact mechanism as this, and he. Two said it sounds a, a lot like the mid '80s Panasonic, so I'm guessing that Gold Star got the inspiration for Panasonic to make this chassis like this. But there are a few differences on the bottom side, but there's one difference on the top side, as I'm sure I think the loading motor is more visible. Than on the other Panasonic machines, and you'll and, and I will show you when I get to the GE. So yeah, now the tape is playing. It plays nicely, nice and good. I can press forward search. Forward search works fine, but watch what happens when I press reverse search. Oh, now it's working just fine. I don't know why I decided to, like, work now. Hold on. It's weird. Now it's working. I mean, when I last you pressed reverse search, it decided to, like, um... It, it, it had a hard time turning, and it wasn't the belt or idle tire. It was something else. The start, it unloads the tape. Rewind. Alright, the wine works fine, but watch what happens when I press fast forward. Yep. That's the problem. That's the problem. So, the problem's on the bottom side of the chassis, and I can show you why, um... It... 
can't fast forward that well, but I can still make it fast forward. It has a similar problem to the, um, Funai VC I used to have back in, uh, April of 2016. It had a similar problem. So, you know what, why don't we get to the bottom side right now? Shit. Oops, I accidentally pressed eject. We just, uh... Okay, here's the bottom side of the machine. And it is pretty similar, similar to the... Almost the same as the mid-80s mid Panasonics. But I can show you there's a few differences. As you can see here, the pulley is smaller than the mid-80s Panasonic. The Panasonic ones are bigger. What else is different? And the pulley doesn't have these, how could I say this, plastic bumps? I don't even know how I should, how I should say this. But everything else is basically the same. The capstan motor is a lot different too. It is, the Panasonic's one has a metal, um, plate that covers some of the, uh, capstan motor. And everything's the same here. The mode switch is the same. I clean that up. And yeah, here's a rubber band. I didn't, I don't have any more belts that are smaller. That's the only thing I could use, but so far it's working just fine. Now let's insert the tape again. Alright, it's in. Now... Let's... hold on. It's gonna... Now let's press play. Try reverse search. Now for some reason that's working. Hope it stays like that. Cause I had a problem with reverse search before. I don't know, maybe I think I fixed it or something, I'm not sure. Stop. Oh, here's a gear for just a tape guide. It's just a tape guide gear right there. Dry, this metal um, arm turns that gear so it can load the tape guide. And watch what happens when I press fast forward. Okay, everything seems to be co everything seems to be fine, but here's why it doesn't fast forward. Let me show you this area. Just like the Funai, um, I have to press down at a certain angle. Oh, try that again. Alright, now it's fast forwarding for now, but I don't know, but it won't for long. It'll stop eventually and make that grinding noise again. And as you can see, it... it doesn't fast forward pretty fast because you know this is an 80s VCR. No, I don't think I've seen an 80s VCR that rewinds and fast forwards really fast. Well, the tape is near the end. So now, so 
can see here that's fast forwarding just fine, no problems. Now we wind. We wind most of the time works. Yeah, it's not really fast because it's a 80s VCR. Alright, um... Stop. Before we, um, before I put, hook this up to my TV, I'm going to, um, show you the loading motor in action one more time for you. I hooked up my VCR to my TV now. Before I show you everything, here is the original idler tire. To tell if an idler tire is worn out, let me show you. You need to, um, I don't know if you can see it. But, um, if you spot any, if there's any cracks on the outer tire, yeah, you can probably see now. Like, uh, like that. That means the outer tire is worn out and it will not be able to turn correctly. Without an outer tire on certain VCRs, the, v the, the tape will not reel back into the cassette when you eject. It will eat the tape and eat instantly. So, and yes, I replaced it with a, with a rubber O-ring. Now it should last for quite some time now. Now, enough of this. Now let's get, so now I hooked up my VCR to my TV. And I'm going to use a cassette, a special VHS cassette that I haven't used in quite some time. Since a few review, since much reviews ago, you know, using this one. Yeah, you know, check out his channel. Do it for me, please. Do it for the king. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. See if I can uh, get it to a certain uh, spot. Can you find that switch? Oh, found it. Right there, here's the tracking knob. Okay, this, okay, it's tracked, it's tracked, okay. Yeah, no, um, audio is coming from the speaker on a model VCR. So I'll just go to this speaker right here. I hooked up speakers to my TV because, um, the built-in ones are not really too good. So I have my own, you know, little surround sound. And the picture is pretty good, but it could improve. This is my speaker. They are basically computer speakers, but I can hook them up to my TV because it's a there's a headphone jack in there and it uses an aux cable to um hook up to my TV. So yeah, picture's pretty good. 
No spoilers, no spoilers. You shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. There. We don't want any spoilers for this, for my bro here. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so, um, but, you know, I recorded this on my RCA Hitachi built VCR. And, yeah, that was a, yeah, I had that VCR for a little bit and then I accidentally broke it because I wanted to see what it would be like if I held a capstan molder, which was right here, down for a few. And then I think it just blew a fuse. And the VCR wouldn't work anymore. So, lesson learned. Don't ever hold a capstan motor down. Even on the new ones, I'm just saying. Just to, just to be cautious. Now, let's be, I'm just going to rewind this. Let me use a different cassette. That I recorded on my on a hi-fi VCR or just a forehead in general. Picture seems to be pretty good. Like ignore those um stack lines just because of the tape, um it will improve later. But overall the picture's pretty good. I mean, it's only a two head, so um it could be slightly better. Wait, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up! Okay. So that was the Gold Star GHV 51FM VCR. Now we're going to show you the GE that I've already reviewed but it's gonna it's basically going to be a comparison t from this VCR to that one I would compare both at the same time but I do not have a lot of space in my room so yeah so it's time to get the GE out okay, now we're going to compare both VCRs well here's the front side of the GE VCR if you haven't seen it GE nine seven one one zero. Here's the inside of it. This one uses a gear idler instead of an idler tire. And on and over here, I don't know if you've noticed in in the VCR view of my gold star, but um, there was a half loading arm right there. And on this Panasonic made machine, there is not. So there are a few different stuffs. So here, the loading motor is visible somewhat, but on the, on the Gold Star, there is it is visible. Unless if you want to go over here, now you can see it. But it doesn't drive just a worm gear; it drives a shaft, a metal shaft. Worm gear goes all the way here. See if I can show you. Right there. For the cassette and loading mechanism. The sounds are basically are somewhat different. But this is an older version of the uh, mid 80s Panasonic machine. So it's gonna sound a little bit different. But the looks is all what matters. Same, not the same head drum, but same amount. Two heads. And th th this also, ha that, on the gold star there is a erase head that swings too. And 
a tape stabilizer. And on the bottom here, um, it's not over. Here, on the bottom side, you can see this pulley. It's a whole lot bigger than the gold star. And um, this pulley here does not have bumps on it, unlike the gold star. And here, this is what I mean. Here's the capsule motor. There's a little metal. There's a metal plate that kind of covers it. I don't know what's that for, maybe to stabilize it, I'm not sure. And, um, this, and, um, this, um, capstan molder looks more well built than the uh, gold star. And the bottom of the head drum looks a little bit different. I cannot say how, though. Check my golds. Go back in my video, this video, and then you into, until you see the gold, the bottom side of the gold star head drum. The loading motor is exactly is mostly. I think it's yeah. It's a, it's exactly the same. And there's this piece that doesn't fail. I don't think this piece fails on this um. Panasonic built machine. That's what's causing it to not fast forward correctly. Or wind. They had there's a gear t here too, just like the gold star. And the mode switch is ex is near is most is identical to the uh, gold star. Same screw and everything. Not. Is it the same screw? I think it uses the same screw. Now let's put it in all in action for you. I'm gonna put it all in action. I'm gonna get a tape. One that's in good condition, of course. It, this one goes okay. The loading motor, not the loading motor. Um, the carriage motor goes puts the tape in a lot faster, ejects faster, goes in faster. And the display is a obviously a whole lot different. Then I'll press play. And it's and it operates a little bit a little more quiet at two forward search that's working reverse search oh I think I'm pressing the wrong button here oh I think I have to press it a little bit harder. Stop. It's basically the same setup, but a few, but a few differences. And when it fast forwards, it's slightly louder than the gold star. If that piece wasn't failing. Oh, accidentally press play again. I'm at the one. But still, it's pretty quiet.
Now we'll see the top pot in action. Well, since the pulley is bigger, it will affect. It cannot. I cannot like put the VCR on the floor without the metal cover on. So I might as well put that on. Then I'll get back to it. So that is basically it for this video, and I and I have a question f to ask all of you. So, which VCR would you prefer if you were say if it was still the 1980s? What VCR would you prefer, this one or the Gold Star up there? Yeah, in my display case now, it's right there. So you want do you want a Panasonic mechanism or a Gold Star mechanism? Let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found this interesting. So um, please like, comment, subscribe and always be kind, rewind.